Hey everyone, this is Ty with Spicy Exotics. It's late October 2020 and we have a dragon fruit growing tip for you. Earlier this summer, we began to notice something where we had some fruit that were larger than others. However, they were all on the same plant. Why would this be? This plant's all interconnected and growing in the same container, fertilized with the same material, yet some fruit was slightly larger. Why would this be? So we began to experiment with pollination times. And what we found is when we pollinate, as soon as the flower opens, ideally 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. at night, we got ourselves a very nice sized fruit. This is a Hello Serious Costa Recensus variety. We have at Spicy Exotics. And this is a, uh, by the way, this is also a, a ripe variety. So it's well over a pound, which is kind of at its peak of uh, size wise. And typically our, our, expense, our experience is um, something like this. Now this still has time to mature and um, it's, it's going to grow. Uh, but imagine this fruit red. This is about a half to three quarters of a pound. And as you can see, the fruit size is much different. But we have a, uh, this example isn't practical. So let's go ahead and take a closer look of a variety where we have a great comparison. Um, but first, while we're walking back there, this is a, a variety that was pollinated um, just after 10 p.m. at night. You could see here well over a pound, so good results with that variety. And further down here, we have a couple of examples of both a white flesh and a red flesh variety. So this is a white flesh in front of us, and we have four fruit. This is about a week away before ripening. This is currently ready to harvest, and these are a little over ripened. Um, they did shrink slightly um, in their over ripeness, however, um, not by much. So these two varieties, or these two uh, fruit, were pollinated around 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. the following morning, whereas this fruit was pollinated at 10 to 12 p.m. at night, along with this fruit. Now, as you can see, using my hand as a gauge, This fruit's easily much larger. And in, dra in the dragon fruit world, the larger the fruit, the better. The better the everything. In fact, if I were to cut these two fruit and do a taste test, one would swear they're from two different varieties because they're drastically that different. And that's been our experience where some of the larger fruit have have been phenomenal but in some cases it's hard due to other challenges to get fruit um, at at, at a, a optimal size so pollinating um, as quickly as possible seem to have given us good results with the large fruit so although challenging it makes a lot of sense dragon fruit open up at night for a reason that's when you want to pollinate them not first thing in the morning. Here's another example on a red flesh variety. So this particular fruit was pollinated early a.m. whereas this fruit still has about another week to ripen and as you can see this compared to this. We can zoom out you can see the difference between those two fruit. Once again top pollinated 8 to 12 hours after the flower open bottom pollinated 1 to 2 hours after the flower open so super fresh pollen yields really nice sized fruit and that's been our experience I can walk around here and show here's a successful pollination however it was an a.m. pollination whereas back here we have a fruit that was pollinated one to two hours after the flower open. And we see this results through our nursery. 
and we wanted to share. So if you want great tasting large dragon fruit, get the most out of your yield. Wake up or find a nighttime pollinator to get those flowers pollinated as quickly as possible and reap the benefits. We hope you find this tip useful and thank you for watching and choosing Spicy Exotics.